Oh my. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Knuckles gets a rather unique boss fight. A ghost? Because apparently the ghosts fucking hate him. It is hilarious, though. King Boom Boom! The king of ghosts. So, first off, you're going to want to lure him into throwing knees at you. You need to maintain a certain distance. You get too close, he tries chomping you. If you run too far, he does a U-turn because it's protecting him. There's a little ghost back here. Shine the light on this heathen. And he shrinks down. <laughs> and for whatever reason, that makes him completely non-ethereal and actually able to be punched. So that's useful. If you're quick enough, you can get two hits on him. That's always helpful to do. I doubt I'll get a third somewhere. No. But as you imagine, with each hit, he gets a little bit quicker. His tactic for hiding gets a bit, um, gets a bit more evasive. I'll spec off. I'm not that close to you. Bugger off. You oversized trash can. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, just wait for him to get ready to do his fire breath. As soon as it lets off, just run around the back. As quick as you can. Gotcha. Now he's gonna start going up the wall going up the walls and all that lovely stuff. Come here, asshole! I doubt I'll be able to finish him on this round, but. Might have to go another round. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh! Almost had a year bastard. <laughs> You're merely postponing the inevitable. Go away. Do, 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 do. The, the pyramid bosses get some pretty kick ass theme tunes, though, to be fair. The one against the Egg Golems kick ass. I like this one. It's pretty much variations. It's different variations of the same boss theme, really. Oh, can't get enough of it, though. Come on. Thank you. And now he's going to mix up a bit. He'll go across the floor and the walls, so just be aware that he's going to go anywhere that he can. Which is fair enough. I wouldn't want to die as it goes. That sounds a bit permanent. <laughs> and booyah! How was your prostate exam? Leave us some feedback. Huh. What a <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's fine. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! No, leave her! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> now we actually get to fight the egg golem for proper. We're Sonic. Unfortunately, we can't just cut scene immunity here and take it out completely. <laughs> There's always been a weird glitch with this boss on the GameCube version we have. For some reason, the, on this boss specifically, the jump button would double tap for whatever reason. It was, it was weird. You would literally like, just zip across the floor like that. I can't even fucking replicate it. But yeah. Anyway, the reason that's annoying is we got some specific platforming to do. Every time he attacks, he's going to stay still for a while. Then you need to climb these platforms to smack him in the head. The same with Robotnik. The more damage you do, the more... Um, the more aggressive his attacks are going to become. Just be aware of that. They are kind enough to give you these symbols to home and attack off on the last couple of platforms. So you don't need to be that specific. But you still have to have a, a, a degree of platforming to you. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced that problem with the GameCube version. 
do let me know do let me know leave a comment down below <laughs> Okay, final hit. Bring it on, jackass. Yeah. Overall, not too bad of a boss fight. Because Sonic's quite light, if you do fall into the sand below, you can jump out of it and save yourself. It's not like the mechs where they just sink. So that's something quite useful to keep an eye out for. Nice try, Rocky. Unless you're going into the wind screen, then Sonic apparently just goes into the void. But... Um... <laughs> Who's doing the countdown? Does this mean does this mean Robotnik's actually employed somebody? I don't know. It sounds a bit too human to be a robot, if that makes sense. <laughs> Space colony where Eggman is hiding. And it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. What the? Is everyone all right? Who the hell is driving this thing? Soon. The hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle and off, let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! <laughs> And I thought bringing Amy was a bad idea. Excuse me, table. I kind of need my controller wire. Thank you. What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. Where? <laughs> this place looks deserted. Just the two. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony, called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now... Now it's an abandoned ARC, wouldn't you say? Yeah, just slightly. There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Bullshit plot so thread number three. Be impenetrable <laughs> its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it. Isn't inside. that a chaos emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. But apparently, you can do that now. Just create chaos emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? I hate you! You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun! Can I kick you into the airlock yet, or is that frowned upon? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> eternal engine. Let's wreck some shit. <laughs> Thankfully, because the station's operational, we don't have to worry about uh, turning any lights on. So let's just uh, run through and wreck some shit. Now, the main gimmick with this level you have to be careful about is in certain rooms there are going to be some. Oh, yeah, there is. There's going to be some bottomless pits. Which could also be opened up by shooting these dynamite packs. It's a double-edged sword, really, because the dynamite packs help go towards your overall score counter, but they also create some pretty dangerous hazards, so um, yeah, be aware of that. Speaking of which, and they will pull you towards the door, so just, uh, yeah, don't get too close to that, don't get too close to that. There's a lot of time I find myself destroying them, even when I don't mean to. Just for the pure fact. 
I like destroying everything. But <laughs> and now we put armor chow onto purgatory. He will get sucked down into space forever. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick up the chow key, but never mind. See you later, armor chow. I would say it's nice doing you, but it really wasn't. Oh shit! That's a weird enemy up there. Oh, go. I do believe we get a next upgrade around it. Very soonish. Ah, camera! Not really necessary. Nah, better wait. Hey, spec off! I'm here to stop Robotic too, you know. Assholes. You think the military would have called, or called themselves off of um, Sonic and Outlaw by now, but never mind. Switch that, yep. Onto here, and there should be a pulley here. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Tails, why did you just drop like a sack of shit? Um. Okay, that ring goes higher apparently. I never knew that. But fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we get his um, iron crate upgrade around there. Thank you. Bloody perfect. Or oh, chaos clone or whatever. Hey, in the ass. You're not cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, thank you. Is that how you get in this room? Can't remember how you get in this I think there's a switch out here somewhere. It's like that, it's just a door you can't get through, but... Looked like I had a lock on it, but... so I am curious. I'm glad you're happy, Tails. <laughs> Tails does get sort of a boss fight at the end of the stage. More of a mini boss, really. Ah, uh, go on. I don't really find it getting sucked off into space, thank you. Take that any way you will. Oh, God. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Okay, now how do I get in there? Right then, I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, should be here somewhere, it's cannon upgrade. Oh yeah, it's in there, it's in that room, isn't it? Yeah, I remember now, hang on. Um, excuse me. I suppose you could technically infinitely farm points on these things. That's always one method, I suppose, if you, if you don't mind sitting there shooting shit for like a good half hour or so, but. <laughs> Bazooka! Vulcan power upgrade now brought break iron containers. Damn straight. Nice. Okay, I believe we are getting near the end. Oh, hi, Big. How are you breathing in space? Why are you in space? Be careful that one. If there's anything I don't trust, it's that platform there. <laughs> Anti-gravity, go! <laughs> Where am I aiming? <laughs> it is quite hard to aim in this area. So your, your, your laser's more vertical than it is horizontal, so... Um... 
some help around here. Never mind! <laughs> and Tails died a hero. Sorry, we didn't start too far back, so... Okay. Okay. Almost made it through level without dying, but never mind. Okay. <laughs> At least I got my health back. Get me through! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is sort of the mini boss was on about. Just keep locking onto stuff and firing. It's not really too difficult to be honest with you. The hardest bit is getting onto the platform. There we go. Happy days. <laughs> I gotta do better next time. But I'm sorry. That we don't need to go to the shell garden. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, to be fair, that probably made for a good cutoff point because we are pretty much at the end of the session. Excuse me. But before we end it off, I suppose we could feed our random hero, future hero child, some animals. And make an abomination. Yes. Yes, my creature. Feed. You want a tiger? Have a tiger. What about a penguin? Yep, have another penguin. It is well indeed an abomination. There's a few peacocks over there. Would you like to feel fabulous? There you go. Still need to name this thing. Whether or not I'm going to let my other half name you, I don't know. I don't know if I'll subject you to that torture. <laughs> That's a poor, poor ball bag. But yeah. As you can see, more more we interact with it as a hero character, the more lighter it gets. All this way to be in a hero base chair. Ah, 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 ah. Finish your fruit. There you go. Happy days. But yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And when we come back, we'll finish off the hero side story. And then finish the finale. Because we do have a final segment to do afterwards. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head on out this door. Well, I suppose we could play in the next cutscene, but yeah. Just in case, actually. In case when I load it back up, it doesn't play it for whatever reason. Okay, Sonic. Now put that emerald... Up your ass! <laughs> Love bringing her with you, don't you, Sonic? Oh man. But thankfully, when we do come. Oh god, we've got this stage, haven't we? Yep, okay, definitely ending the session there. I'm not dealing with that. It's not as bad as Rouge's space level, but I'm not dealing with that now. But when we come back, we will do Meteor Herd and wrap up Knuckles' segment of the story, whatever he actually contributes to this at the moment. And uh, <laughs> we'll go rescue Amy, because you just love bringing her with you, don't you, Sonic? Uh, seriously, why is she here? But until then, thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, all that lovely stuff, whatever time it is your way. And until then, bye for now.